it's just very discouraging. For Torin Bowen, being a part of the LGBTQ plus is not easy. It's hard enough living as a transgender person. Last year, Bowen started the process of getting his gender change on their ID. Around that time, the requirement to make the change seemed simple. Just fill out a gender designation change request form, also called Form 5532. All that you needed to get approval, a physician, therapist, or social worker signature. But Bowen got a surprise at the license office. I had a doctor, I had a therapist, I had everything lined up. I went to the DMV to ask my questions, find out about the form, and I was told because I had not had any surgeries yet, I could not change my gender marker. Process of changing your gender marker has never been perfect. Um, in Missouri, it has been very difficult for people to do so. Uh, Form 5532 was an attempt at making it a little bit easier. Now the requirement transitioning surgery or court order and the DMV removed the 5532 form from the website and state offices. A statement from the Department of Revenue says, quote, customers are required to provide either medical documentation that they have undergone gender reassignment surgery or a court order declaring gender designation to obtain a driver's license or non-driver ID card denoting gender other than their biological gender assigned at birth, end quote. People who try to use the form will be told it's no longer accepted. In response to the change, a statewide LGBTQ plus organization has come up with the ID for me campaign. And the reason why we launched this campaign is because of the difficulties that we've heard over the last two weeks from Missourians who frankly aren't able to change their gender marker at all. The plan allows LGBTQ plus members to file reports if they're struggling to get their name or gender marker changed. At the end of the day, we're just people. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.